This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2004 Dodge Ram 2500. It's a three quarter ton crew cab. Uh, has 206,254 miles. It was a trade in to Larry Miller uh, Dodge Group. And it's a beautiful truck. Uh, this is an amazing truck. If you didn't know better, you would swear it had 20,000 miles on it. Um, anyway, uh, we brought it in. We do an inspection. Not much to inspect. 5.9 um, Crew Cab SLT two wheel drive. My guys hand me this, unreal, like brand new. Previous owner was amazing. Uh, the Carfax reveals that it was a Green Valley truck. Uh, very nice retirement community south of Tucson, wealthy people. And he took great care of this thing. Really good care of this thing. Um, I think all we did to it was it needed a, a water pump. That's all we did. A water pump other than that uh, and it kind of speaks for itself he I don't know why but he traded it in with almost a brand new set of BFG tires on it they're beautiful tires um, very expensive that's what it came with I'll walk around I'll show you the truck and look at these things why would you buy brand new tires right before you trade it in People think they're going to get more money for their trade. By the way, don't do that. It doesn't really matter. People do that all the time. It's crazy. These are brand new tires. Brand new BFG all-terrain tires. Nice camper shell. Usually we take these off, but this thing's in beautiful shape. So we didn't take it off. That's the mats. pretty truck well my brother's uh, already taken probably 60 to 80 HD pictures in it I don't even see a door ding in this thing yikes man is that thing pretty in that uh, photo gallery you'll see a little magnifying glass icon that you can drag over a photo and uh, basically zoom in on anything you see in that photo I encourage you to use that 206,276 miles, especially on this truck, because this thing is a freaking freak show, man. This is crazy. This is a beautiful truck. At some point, he redid the entire interior, and I love it. I like it way better than the Dodge. Look at these seats. He recarpeted the thing. I mean, this thing, frick, they had to hire him at Dodge to do their interiors. I like it way better than the factory ones. Carpet's beautiful. This is a neat truck. Um, all right, here's the Kelly Blue Book on the truck. 04 Ram quad cab, 206,254 miles. Typical listing price would be 13,607. That would be a hell of a buy on this truck. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Here's the Carfax. Based on their uh, the history of the vehicle and everything, they value the car at uh, the truck at 13,630. There's the VIN, no accidents reported, 12 service records, ba, ba, ba. see the Green Valley here? Green Valley, blah, blah, blah. Green Valley people are notoriously uh, good people. <laughs> very, very uh, good with maintaining their vehicles. Car business people here in Tucson fight over their vehicles. Yeah, Green Valley vehicle. That's it. Nice Carfax. It was a uh, Larry Miller trade-in, and they assigned it to Wheel Kinetics on 12:28. So there you go. Okay. Now you've seen all the paperwork, the Carfax, the Kelly Blue Book. Let's open the hood for you real quick. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's a freak show. This thing is beautiful. Beautiful truck. Look at that. No blow by at all. No pressure, nothing. That's perfect. Perfect. Boy, somebody is going to fall in love with this truck. 
all the stickers where they belong. Wow. There's that. Seats. <laughs> There's your manuals. Boom. Right where they belong. That's quite a truck. Look at the carpet. What a beautiful job they did. I'd like to know the upholstery guy who did that for them. It's perfect. I'm looking, I don't see a freaking door ding on this truck. see a freaking ding on that truck. Nothing. Nope. There's not a door ding on this truck. Blow that window up and down. <laughs> wow. Well, there's a reason I paid what I paid for it. Everyone else saw this truck too. And it was a knife fight for this thing. I saw this thing, I'm like, you know what? This would be the least headaches we've ever had with anything we've ever owned. And it was true. Uh, there you go. And you can't do power door locks on a Dodge unless all the doors are closed and you're inside it. Mirrors. Power seat. Forward. Look how fast that moves too. Back. Tilt up, and down, tilt up and down, whole seat up, down, tilt wheel. There's your tilt wheel. Alright, let's hop in here. Put the seatbelt on. Alright, let's do the door locks from inside the truck. Let's see, where are the door There they are. There, there are your door locks. We have cruise control. There's cruise, cruise on and off right there, right? There's tow haul on and off. That's me doing that. All right, radio. Let's see. February 21st is the parade. CD player. Oh. Man, it's already blowing cold. AC works fine. Let's see what do we got here. Cup holder. La la la. Oh, it's got a. Aha! I found the flaw. It's got an aftermarket power slider that doesn't work, and that's fine because they never work. I don't know why. That was probably his one thing he regretted doing was spending seven or eight hundred dollars on that. That is a waste of money. Um, even factory ones don't work very long. All right, uh, let's see. If you come to Tucson and drive this home, you will pay the following. You'll pay taxes and dock fee of $250. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. That's what you'll pay if you come to pick it up. Your state, our city of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. Um, you'll have uh, no dock fee, no taxes, nothing. Okay. Um, but, 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 but what else? Deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please make sure you get your deposit in. I don't want to run this guy over on the scooter. That would be a bad deal. Um, once we have your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner. I'm over the vehicle at uh, wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours until then it's for sale. This thing is going to be very popular because the uh, photo of it, it stands out. You can just tell from a mile away and even in a photo online that this thing is beautiful. This is not going to last long. So make sure you get your deposit in. Make uh, sure you get it in quickly. I think the person who dawdles will probably be the person who's kicking themselves on not buying this truck. So make sure you get that in and then... Uh, your name will go on a banner over the truck and you'll know it's yours. All right, 
Last part of our videos, I say this every time, same thing in every video, uh, at the end of every video. This vehicle, like every other vehicle we have online, when you're the owner, you're the owner, okay? That's the second you own it, you're the owner. You will be repairing your truck. We do not write checks for future repairs, regardless of when it happens, okay? Um, everything breaks eventually. We give you all this uh, information, Carfax, Kelly Blue Book, titles, everything we know, everything we've done, everything, everything. So you can make a good decision. Uh, we don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a uh, lounge to kick it in, uh, and we also don't add extra money to the price of the vehicle for future repairs for customers' cars because we're not repairing it, okay? Everything breaks, this will break eventually. Based on its previous history and based on what I'm driving and how many of these I've driven in my life, this is a beautiful truck. I would be shocked if it broke, but you never know, okay? Um, so please know that that's how we operate so that there's no surprises here. Um, I would get in this thing. In fact, I would love to tow my boat with this next summer. This would be a great truck for that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I think that's about it. Other than needing a new owner that's uh, as diligent as the previous owner, I think this truck is awesome. And I'd love to find the uh, interior guy who did the interior work on this truck. Um, I'm sure I know why he did the interior, because Dodge interiors are famous for tearing on the bolsters, on the seat bolsters. And the guy probably said, you know, I'll do the whole thing for X amount of dollars. And he said, well, instead of doing one seat, why don't we do the whole thing perfectly? And he did. And he did a hell of a job. Anyway, I think that that's about it. We are back. I got two more to do and the sun's almost down, so I'm late. Thank you for your time.